Welcome back to the Great Goni Hunt. I'm Leo Bader. Uh, Jeff Markey, Father. We're playing Tournament hey. Creator. Uh, the new one. The new old one. I don't know why they decided to limit themselves by calling it 1 plus 2. I feel like they could have yep. added 3 as a level pack, and it would have been perfect. And now, are they really going to add 3 to Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 plus 2? Does that make any sense to you, you know? Yeah. They kind of blew that up. Huh? But what, what would they have called it? Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Do the classic reboot style. Didn't they already do that reboot, though? That was Tony Hawk's Pro Skater HD. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, they blew it. Yeah, thank you. I can't hear anything, though. Know? Yeah, man, get over it. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's it sounds like <laughs> so I just kind of imagine that when I'm hitting the right. and stuff. You Tony Hawk guy, Jeffrey? I was a big Tony Hawk guy. What changed? And these were these were my Tony Hawk games. The Do you think the beat. series went downhill? Do you think it went off the rails? Uh, no. Well, maybe. I mean, it, there was definitely a period where it was where they were just kind of. Everyone was overwhelmed by it, by how many of how many of these games were coming out. For sure. Even though even though now nowadays I feel like that's not as big of an issue. Like there are definitely those annualized series, but. Yeah, it's been it's been normalized. For sure. Fun Kissa says, Leo, where would this land on your official ranking of the Tony Hawk games? Probably pretty high. I mean, it's like if it's at the very least if one and two played as good as three. So yeah. by default, it's better than one or two and at least as good as three, right? It's been very good so far. I'm really, I've been really impressed by it. Yeah. That's like I was, what they always say is the point of these remasters, right? Is to have it play as good as you remember it playing. Mm -hmm. And that's, yeah. they nailed that for sure. I was getting blisters yesterday trying to get the, you know, the floating V on the, um, the skate park level. Yeah. Because you had to grind the rafters, which I remember doing when I was a youngin playing the original, but I just could not get up there again. Aww. But yeah, these were all I like the mall. I did not remember until I started playing again last night. I was like, oh, yeah, I, I forgot that they had these weird kind of downhill levels as yes. well. Yes, that was a thing like mainly in the first one. And then, of course, brought back to the cult classic Tony Hawk's Downhill Jam. Yeah. It was also amazing to play, uh, to go through the characters and actually be able to see their faces. Yeah. What they actually look like for once. Isn't that something? Nailed it. Nailed it. I'm really impressed by the animations. Whoopsie. I feel like they flow together really well. They're like just the right mm. amount of stylized where they can kind of morph and look good. Yeah. Just exaggerated enough, you know? And I, I got over the VHS rewind thing pretty fast. Too. Yeah. That seemed very weird at first, but then... <laughs> oh, that was nice, Leo. Yeah. And I'm happy... I haven't played around with it yet, but I'm happy to see that they have the... that they added the create your own skate park thing. Yeah. I can't remember which which uh, game that they introduced that in. I think it was two. Was it? We should play some custom maps in a minute. Do they have, like, you can just find and download other people's? Yep. There's, like, top-rated ones, and yeah, it seems cool. Because that's what was always missing. The 
like give you like the create a skate park and then it's like okay well I'll, I'll play my own skate park that I made now because we didn't have internet back in those days that's so true not like nowadays yeah. you could have your friend over and they could painstakingly recreate it yeah is there a secret on this level? Is there a way to get to like a secret area or something? You know, I was I was trying to figure that out too, and I don't know if that was a later game that was also vaguely warehouse or if it was like a hangar, I wanna say maybe. Yeah, hangar in Pro Skater 2, there's definitely some secrets. Yeah. But, but I, Pro Skater 1 I definitely more of a blind spot for me. Yeah, I don't I don't think there was one. I think it's just that <laughs> one room up there that you just jumped through. Where the secret tape was. Right. Where are these boxes? And smashing the boxes has never looked better. That is true. C6 is no secret area. That was added in Thug 2. Thank you. Yeah, I, really, my only frame of reference for these Tony Hawk's Skater 1 levels is the later games where they got revitalized. Mm -hmm. Brought back. Oh, hell yeah. It's also been fun. Uh, obviously, there's the songs that everyone remembers, but then there were other songs that I I did not remember until I started hearing them. It was like, oh, yeah, that chorus sounds yeah. like something I've heard a thousand times without ever processing who the artist was or what the name of it was. Right. Yeah, there are some new songs for this, but you can definitely tell when it's like, oh, yeah. yeah, this was in there, and I have not thought about this song for a decade. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that stupid raft up there that just connected. Spine transfers, like, you know, manuals and reverts. Mm -hmm. Those are Pro Skater 3. Spine transfers are Pro Skater 4 business. They really got it all. They really got the best of all they, worlds. They did it. Pro Skater 4 in this engine would not be out of place at all. And I'd love to see them get all the way up to there with it. Kind of just push forward and get out of this and maybe get that stat point. Kind of forgetting that I'm here to like impress everybody with my skateboarding skills. Oh, dang it. Can't get, get any of these stat points, Jeffa. Huh? It's an embarrassment. They're, they're tricky. I'm tricky. You are. There it is. I like that you can really just throw one of these heats away in these competitions. You just yeah. do good in the other two. Which probably a lot of skaters will just try their hardest in all of them anyway. Yeah. But it's always nice to have that breathing room. Right. Here's my run to impress the judges. Oh. I feel... Nice. I feel like, and I, I don't know if it's just because they've added all the other mechanics into this one, but I I basically switched all my special moves to be like either manuals or grinds. <laughs> yeah. Just because it's you can make so many more points just chaining together a couple of those. Whereas like in the original game, I, all my special moves were the holds, and, but that seems less, yeah, less valuable now. But maybe that's just me. No, I think, I think you're right. I think we all need to do a little Tony Hawk maturing. Yeah. Sometimes I'm able to get to a special manual just by doing the button presses. And I don't know that's how weird. I do that, but I want to get good at doing it. 
Because again, the Flatland stuff I think wasn't until Pro Skater 4 either. Yeah. It's really the best of all worlds. You know, I got this game on PS4, so I can't even play it on keyboard, Amaze Hobbs, as I used to play as a child. And that's been very disappointing. Okay, wish I could go back to that level of... Oh, see, dexterity. this is this is what I always wanted, Leo. Right? Do they have the uh, punchy pits that you can add to parks? They renamed them, I think, to Spike mm. Trap. So they may as well not. Yeah. No good. No good. Oh, sweet. You throw in the loop de loop. I, I wish you could just make, wanted. like, objectives, though. Yeah. That'd be amazing. I'd love to see them. This is the top rated park right now. Okay. It seems alright. <laughs> yeah, they're like leaning into the curves. That looks great. Mm -hmm. I want a cooler park. I want yeah. a Mario Maker style auto playing park. That's what I want. I think this is what I'm looking for. Jupiter Beach gifting five subs. Oh my god, that's way too many. Slow down. That's incredible. Thank you, Jupiter Beach. Oh wait, let's start over here. Oh, this, this. Hell yeah. <laughs> Are you even having to balance, or is it just no. going so fast between them that you don't have to worry about it? Incredible. And it got me a challenge. <laughs> Must be getting a lot of challenges for amount of tricks in one combo. That's excellent. Yeah, I want more of those. Jupiter Beach says, I try to gift at least five a month that's in my budget. That is very kind. Yeah. Latest, dumb, giant benches. I'll check out this one called Ah. Is that quintuple A? Whoa, yeah. The future of quad A. Yeah, move over quadruple A. <laughs> right? Cool. They name. That's okay. This is good. Everything's floating. Everything looks like it takes place on Venice Beach. That was the border. You can't grind that. It's very tempting to grind, mm -hmm. but you can't. Oh. <laughs> This looks really good. I feel like I'm playing it to an Xbox Skater 5. That's Quintuple A, baby. That's Quintuple A for you. Cool level. Wow. I think it was just a forced perspective thing in the thumbnail that the benches were so big. 
Oopsie Pup says, can I have fun playing this game? My right bumper is broken. Good luck going between the tabs on the main menu. That is true. Besides that, you're probably fine. Yeah, as long as his left bumper works. Do, do they wrap around with Leo? The, uh, no, I'm sorry, they don't. No, oh, then you're screwed. Well, you can just never customize your skater. Yeah. I'm a biggie boy says that I like that the music continues through the session and music menu transitions, which is true. Yeah. It's nice when you are constantly restarting a level because you've screwed up. That's helpful. Although I do rem like it is a specific part of the nostalgia I noticed in the warehouse demo. Like restarting the run and restarting the song and never hearing more than two minutes of the song. Mm, that is true. That, that was a part of the game to me. You know? This person modified the roller coaster thing to be infinite. Well, they made it too hard. <laughs> Whoa! Oh no, it was just a brick wall. I thought it was that... That many rails you could wall ride on. Mm. But no. What a hidden half pipe! Secret skate park! Alright, let's get back to the real game now. Doesn't seem like you can do that crazy of stuff in that editor. Yeah. But it's unlimited content, baby. And there you go. You're dying for more levels. You got them. That's that game. This on the soundtrack. More bands with singers who do goofy voices like the B-52s or the Dead Kennedys, you know? Yeah. Novelty singing. Right. Your tiny Tims. What the downtown level. Okay, remember the fountain. I want to say they just, like, called this Minneapolis. Yeah. Is it Minneapolis right now? Or do they change it later? Uh, I think it says it in this, in this version, too. Okay. That cool. it's Minneapolis. I remember playing it in... Tony Hawk's American Wasteland's built-in classic. Which nobody ever talks about that, but they kept having classic mode in those underground games. And it was like a whole nother campaign. It's a whole nother Tony Hawk game. Nice. One, can I do it? Can I get all the rest of the popcorn buckets? Oh. Close. Oh, 
fucking feels good. It does. I can't wait to talk about it on this week's little magic show. We shouldn't do that. No, that'd be what people are expecting, and it's yeah. not very punk rock. Just do what people are expecting. So what should we talk about instead? That's like um, Yeah. Raisins. Okay. Yeah. Three hours of talking about raisins. Just to subvert expectations? Yeah. Ollie all these parked cars. That seems achievable. I've been meaning to have a showdown with Blake Hester in this game to prove who is the real skater once and for all. But the online is never working for us. A lot of people have been well, having problems no with this week. Now people in the chat are talking about raisins. I'm sorry. What have I done? They're overrated and real? Apparently. <laughs> we got a lot of raisin haters in the comments. Damn. You think you know a community. <laughs> That's right. Oh, now we got a raisins rule. The six score. <laughs> God damn it. Let's see. Well, I guess that's how, what it looks like to play Tony Axe Pro Skater 1 plus 2. Any questions, Jeff? What songs play? Power Man 5000 When Worlds oh, Collide. Classic. Absolute classic. Wow, because it makes you think, like, what if worlds did collide? That's right. That's kind of crazy. Let's do on that one. Thanks for joining us, everybody. I'm one-handing it while I wrap up this stream. Uh, stay tuned. Lots of fun content coming out this week. Uh, if you haven't watched the, the Spell Break Great Goatee Hunt, that's up right now as well. I'm talking to you two. Oh! That guy was driving extremely irresponsibly, although I guess there was a giant skate ramp in the middle of the street, so... Yeah. Yeah, you gotta cut him right there. Oh, thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. See ya. You want to get your name or Twitch or YouTube channel in the description of everything we release? Record a podcast with us, put a picture of your choice on MinMax's TV, or a whole lot more? You can check out the benefits for supporting us on Patreon. If you support MinMax at any tier on Patreon, you can submit questions or comments for us to read on the air, and you'll also get access to the wonderful MinMax Discord. We need your help to keep this whole indie trainer rolling, so we'd appreciate it if you checked us out.